in the news now is an article which should concern the people in the Eastern Cape. And this involves a court judgment. It involves unscrupulous government officials and involves the Eastern Cape Health Service. And in this headline in Business Tech, it says officials warn of total collapse of the Eastern Cape Health Service. And it says the Eastern Cape's MECs and heads of finance and health applied for an interdict to stop medical negligence claimants from attaching money in the department's bank account. They said the health system in the province is facing total collapse if rising medical claims continue to drain the health department's finances. But a full bench of the High Court said the department is responsible for the negligence which led to the claims in the first place. Not only that, but the officials had made a conscious decision not to budget for these claims. The judgment was referred to the National Director of Public Prosecutions to consider possible prosecution in terms of the Public Finance Management Act. And um, this Tuesday High Court ruling against the state is, of course, a very damning judgment. The Eastern Cape MECs of Finance and Health, as well as the heads of these departments, applied for the interdict to stop dozens of claimants from recovering what they are owed in terms of their court orders. Most of the claimants are poor parents of children born with cerebral palsy due to negligence. Judges Yanni Ekstian, Nomatam Sakwa Beshe and Justin Lang refused to grant the interdict and criticize senior officials, including the provincial heads of health and treasury for not budgeting for the rise in medical negligence claims. The judges have also di directed that their judgment be brought to the attention of the National Director of Public Prosecutions to consider possible prosecution in terms of the Public Finance Management Act. And uh, the link to the full judgment is here in the article. I'm not going to go through the rest of the details. You can go and read that for yourself, especially if you live in the Eastern Cape. But uh, with a court order, they now have to pay the money. Their coffers are going to be empty. They're not going to be able to provide medical services. And this is actually quite interesting. This might go on appeal. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. So just beware of the situation where uh, these departments are forced to pay their claims that are already court orders. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for new, vi new videos. And you will get the link to this article in the description below this video. If you're living in the Eastern Cape, go and have a look. Have a good read. Go and look at the judgment. And um, you will find the link to this article in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. Thank you very much. Till the next video.